Here's a super short video on finishing a neck without the use of much of anything except feel. If you're a guitarist, you should be able to feel what sounds feels like a good neck. And if you're a woodworker, you should be able to feel what feels uneven. So we've been carving our neck using a, let's say, the intermediate version of the faceted approach, which is just to wing it, knowing where the facets are. But at the same time, the, one of the reasons for a laminate neck and where I actually put the laminates is to give me built-in indicators of what I should be doing when I carve it. So for example, we have a quarter inch strip that is exactly in the center and exactly where the truss rod is located. So that helps the top. When it comes to carving the bottom, as long as you align things correctly, you can see that this particular line of veneer and that particular line of veneer need to align pretty much straight and as a result you get a straight neck. So although we finish it with the help of one of these things to make sure our neck is tidy on either side. And at this point, we're just taking off that little bit of additional edge between the binding and the wood. But okay, so I feel that there is a slight hump here. And this is a Japanese milled file that I got from Lee Valley. They're amazing. They're so precise that you just do that and there the hump's gone. And then we'll just sand that out. So where else do we feel a hump? Here, a slight hump here. I feel like it might have to take two more slight passes at it. Where'd the hump go? A little more hump still sitting there. Just make some adjustments. Keep in mind that you're, okay, I can feel a little bit of humpy there. If not right, a little bit of a dip there. You know, cause you know what an extra feel like. If it feels lumpy, take the lumps out. Um, okay, so some even pressure is gonna just give you an even slice. So you can rely on that when you have a good tool. So I have too much overhang on that edge, but that feels very even. A little bit of hump there. Just a little bit. A little bit of hump on top of that. Where are we at here? A little fat right there still. So that's what we do. And when we feel that we're done, this is 60 grit. These scratch marks will disappear very fast. No, I've lost track of how thick this neck is. Um, I just knew it was too fat before which is why I started trimming. You can feel the hump here. You can also work that out with sandpaper. And just how you put your pressure, where you find a hump, it still feels a little undulating. And then I need to take a little bit off right there. And a little bit off right there. Is a little bit better. It's still up here. One thing I learned from the masters of the YouTube is that when you get comfortable, you can use higher grit. When you're not sure of yourself, you'll use 
a finer grit and take a longer time. So I'm comfortable with this. I'm comfortable with the Japanese saw rasp. And so I know how much material is going to come off when I do that. And I know what my pressure is going to do when I do that. Even though that looks like a nasty scar that I created. I also know how deep I want to go. And then, I'm, and then when I blast it with 60 grit. We're almost there. It's just leveling those humps a little bit now. Okay, a little hump there. A little hump up top. And my one measuring tool is this genius piece of work. So let's take a look. That's a good neck. At the seventh fret. It's a little bit high up here. And I can see that's a little bit high up here. And when you look at the, the veneer lines, they better be straight. If they're not quite straight, make them straight. It's still slime hump. Not much. That's very close. Of course, this is the working side, so you gotta wet the details on the working side, right? You want this to be really comfortable if you're gonna play it. Still feeling the hump over here. If you're not sure of yourself, go with a 50C neck. Go for a chunky neck. Because you can always cut it down. And if you don't like the symmetry of the neck you created, You've got room to make it a D-neck. Right now, I thought it was too chunky. The last neck I made felt great in the hand until I put the, the frets and the strings on, and then it felt like a baseball bag. And I learned from that, so now I need to get a little bit thinner. So, so much of this is just eyeball. Yes, that's thinner than that. I could measure it. I don't feel like measuring it. I don't need to measure it. But let's, let's play along anyway. Twenty millimeters. At the twelfth fret, we get Twenty-one millimeters. You don't need to go nine tenths of an inch to an inch. It doesn't have to be like that. You it can be skinny down here, especially with his neck through. You can make a a nice heel like this with a set neck or a neck through, so that there's no heel whatsoever. And I feel good enough about this to give it a shot at one fifty. And call it. Oh yeah, that's so good. 